One of the greatest lessons um, I ever learned was Steve Wynn sat me down and he said, Pat, we are a mirage. You know what mirage means to me is seeing around the corner. It's sort of bending light. Some people may think uh, we have plenty here, they don't have to worry about it. If that's the mirage, there are also people with the foresight to see that that's all it is. Because we've had the foresight and the leadership, we have not followed the mirage syndrome. A suggestion that one is a bit delusional, perhaps, about the availability of resources and uh, the long-term sustainability. My thinking is different from a lot of other people's, but the water that people think is there isn't really there. I seriously disagree with that premise. I think that we are currently in really good shape. What is our future as a desert city? And, and how do we reach it and, and actually reach the oasis, not just the mirage? In a way, you could think about the assumptions that people make about water. You know, the water that we've always had, the water that's always come out of the tap, the water that's always in the Colorado River in, the, in those reservoirs, and maybe, you know, maybe that's not really there. We need to develop real water, and we need to get wet water to the places that, that require it. And in that sense, we are looking beyond. A mirage is, is the illusion of water where there is no water. The crisis is real, but a crisis is a time of opportunity. It's still a time when there are choices to make, to go down one path or another path. We can control our destiny.